Hey everybody, welcome back to a Glittery Life. I am really excited about the video that I have for you today. This is going to be about all about makeup storage and how to like organize your makeup collection so that it's user friendly and how to take it from a really uh, disorganized, stressful mess into like dream bathroom status and you know we're gonna work with the space that we have and I'm gonna show you here in a second everything that we went and bought for organizational purposes and got that all at Michaels or at the Muji store in Hollywood so it's gonna be really easy for you to recreate a lot of this stuff especially if you have a Michaels near you and Muji you can always order online so behind me is the bathroom I'm gonna show you that in a minute I'm gonna show you the makeup collection that we're gonna organize and then we'll I'll show you different stages so I hope this video is helpful for you and if you have any questions about makeup organization and storage you can leave your questions or comments in the drop down section below I'll respond I'll try to answer your questions as best as I can and if this video is helpful and you'd like to see more makeup organization that kind of stuff storage then let me know by thumbs up in this video and if you're new to a glittery life and you haven't subscribed yet to my channel because you just found this video I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and watch some of my other videos so here we go okay so I'm gonna show you um, what we're gonna do today for makeup storage and organization so this is my friend Shannon's bathroom this is like her vanity um, as you can see it's not large but there is some underutilized counter space uh, she has the original beauty box right here you can see it's quite full a pretty extensive brush collection all those brushes are gonna get a good clean rinse and shampoo and then this is gonna get all organized and this is gonna get organized stuff that's in here is gonna get organized and then she has a ton of makeup that's um, not out that we're also gonna organize and um, I'm gonna show you what we actually got uh, to help organize so we're also going to organize uh, her bathroom drawer so you can see this is what we're dealing with before and I can't wait to show you the finished product of after and here is the other drawer so we've got our work cut out for us um, but I, I'm just excited and can't wait to show you the finished project of turning Shannon's bathroom into her dream bathroom hopefully okay so I want hi Regan some little puppy had to get shaved okay so I want to show you what we picked up we got everything at Michael's um, with the exception of the Muji drawers so one of the things that Shannon really wanted to do in her bathroom was write stuff on the wall so we picked up these um, magnetic dry erase markers we picked up this little cute little sign this was two dollars at Michael's the little subway art to remind her that she's um, has big dreams and then we picked up two of these small decorative filler beads that's all they had and then two of the marbles and we'll mix these together um, I, we're gonna do a cute little project with that um, mercury glass Paris thing um, at, also at Michael's we got this letter sorter for her palettes that's gonna be perfect Reagan say cheese uh, we got this little organizer, which I, we just got because we might be able to use it. If not, we'll return it. We have two of these drawer organizers, which are going to be awesome for things like bobby pins and maybe lip gloss or stuff that she doesn't use on the regular rubber bands, like that kind of stuff. Another little box to put all of her cords for her Clarisonic, toothbrush, like all that kind of stuff to put under the sink. All this stuff is from Michaels, you guys, and it was all on sale. And then three of these large glass uh, jars. I think these were like $3.99 and um, these are for brushes. And then two small jars with lids. We're gonna take the lid off of this and uh, I'll show you that in a minute. And we're gonna put this, some of her smaller like shadow brushes. Oh, my lovely assistant, Shannon. So you can see that it's actually a perfect jar now without the lid. So, and then like you guys saw on my last week's vlog, I picked up two Muji drawers, one of the two drawer Mujis and then one of the five drawer Mujis and this is going to go this is going to stack right on top of her original beauty box okay so we have been fully at work in Shannon's bathroom and I am sure you are as excited as I am to see the reveal as I am to show you so without further ado I'm going to walk you through everything that we did in Shannon's bathroom to get it super organized and perfect for her to use every single day and to keep it clean it's going to be really easy for her and hopefully it'll give some good ideas for you so here we go okay so already you can probably see a noticeable difference let's start on this side right here with her brushes 
Whew, we washed us some brushes today, people. You don't even know. So we have three separate brush containers. And I'm going to walk you through these. So the first brush container has all of her foundation brushes. You guys, she has a brush collection that would make anybody jealous. This next brush container is all of her like bronzers or blush brushes, a couple fan brushes in there. And then this last one is any sort of like powder brush. Uh, and that's going to go in the back because those are sort of like the tallest. And then foundation is going to be right here kind of in front. And we are looking for an over the sink shelf for her. But in the meantime, this is going to do just fine. Up here, we have all of her uh, eye brushes. So you can see that this is her liner, brow, that kind of brushes. This is any sort of like fluff brush, crease brush, lid brush, uh, anything like that. Pencil brush is going to go in these in this one right here. So nice and organized, really great. So now let me show you that we put the five drawer Muji on top of her original beauty box. First, we took everything out of the original beauty box and cleaned it and cleaned off anything that had exploded or and then threw away a ton of stuff that had gotten old. So I'm going to walk you through each drawer. This top drawer being um, blushes and like bronzers. So anything that has to do with that goes in this drawer right here. This next drawer is like little mini palettes like the babies or quads or duos, trio, like trios, that kind of stuff. Then this one is in, is we're continuing on with eyeshadows, cream color bases, that kind of stuff. You can see she has a mix of all kinds of goodies and then some gel like liners right there. This next drawer is all of the like eyes, anything that has to do with like eye pencil type stuff, liner, brow pencil, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can see her sharpeners are right there because that's where it makes sense to have them. Group those together, people. Uh, this drawer right here has her It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face. She's a huge It Cosmetics fan. Has done a good job of introducing me to the brand. And then we're going to start on to the original beauty box. The first drawer is lips. So lipsticks, glosses, all the fun stuff like that. You can see I've grouped them kind of by brand. Uh, to make it easier for her to like find those. And I tried to do that in all the other drawers too. Like you could see that I sort of tried to group things by brand. Uh, the second drawer in the original beauty box is you can see pigments. She's got an incredible pigment collection. And the next drawer is mascara, brows, highlighters, like that kind of stuff. So we're trying to group things together. The other thing that's really important is that everything has at home. Everything has a space. Ignore my like chipped gold nail polish. Uh, Zoe and I had uh, twin golden nails. Okay, so this drawer right here is um, like MAC paint pots, like cream bases, and just some other random kind of like eye products that, um, you know, she's going to use. We also threw some concealers back there as well. And this side has... Um, blushes that are too big for this top one. Uh, she's got a NARS. Um, oh my gosh, what? This is my favorite product. Right I know. Now. Multiple. <laughs> multiple. Um, NARS Multiple and I think South Beach, one of my favorite colors. Yeah, South Beach. Um, another NYX baked blush that's too big. And then a Benefit palette in there um, just kind of being in storage. And this last drawer is all of her foundations. <laughs> you can see she's an it girl, like I said. So all of her it foundations, everything that she's currently using or colors that she's mixing together. And then this side has all of her MAC skin finishes and then powders. Anything that she's going to use to set her face with powders, um, bye bye pores, like all that kind of good stuff is going to be in this drawer. Okay, so moving to this side, um, you can see we have all of her palettes. Like, this is really exciting. We got this super cute thing, um, like I think we said earlier, at Michael's. So this back here, we've got Naked 3, Naked 1, um, something naturally pretty by It. We've got some Z palettes. We depotted some stuff today. This has her Inglot and then some NAR shadows and then some MAC and Benefit kind of random shadows in there, but mostly Inglot. This palette right here has some blushes. This is kind of a cheeks palette that we're working on filling. And then she's got her whole like MAC shadows palette right here, organized from like neutral, kind of organized in like a color theory. So light colors being grouped together and kind of moving that through a color story. And then her It Cosmetics, what's this one called? I don't know, but I love it. Let's see what this one is. 
Oh, that's a fun little palette. So then that one's the one that she uses the most. So that one goes in front. And this is on top of a Muji because it was felt like it was important because this is kind of a cardboard to get this off of the countertop. So to save it from getting wet. So this is sort of her excess like spot. She'll probably fill this up really quickly. Um, the Mondo Jumbo um, Your Skin But Better CC Cream from It. And then this one has all of her lip liners and like NARS, like, you know, lip pen satin lip pencils, that kind of stuff. Like anything lips pencil related is in here with another sharpener. So really smart. So hopefully you guys are inspired by her countertop and I'm going to show you in her drawers because we showed you in those before, didn't we? Yeah. So you can see like what a difference that makes with this little organizer. So this is sort of like face and... I need to get magnets for my pens. Oh yeah, there's her pens in there. So face and random like teeth stuff I think and mm -hmm. but nice that it's all sorted. Everything has a little home. My alpha beta pads. Alpha beta pads she can't live without. Dr. Dennis Gross. Yay for that. And then we'll take you over to this drawer. And you can see, look at how awesome her hair drawer looks. Now did we show I don't know if we showed we them didn't. this. We didn't it was, show you. It was too bad. Shannon drew a line. I didn't want you to see this drawer, but needless to say, it didn't look like this. So we've got like hair bands, rubber bands, um, my favorite little hair ties, bobby pins, all that kind of stuff, a, a cord for her iPad or iPod, whatever that is, and then brushes and combs and everything back there. So basically that is how we've done it and it, it looks amazing. And then I just want to show you one. We did a couple little cute touches for her. We found this little Dream Bigger Subway art that was two dollars at michael's thought it was too cute to pass up and then right here on top of the toilet so cute this little you can see my reflection there that little mercury glass paris thing with a cute 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 little i don't know maybe like white peony or xenia i don't know what that is but anyway how how cute is that Okay, Shannon, so what do you think about your new bathroom and how organized it is? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think what I like the most, I don't know if you're like me, I get into a rut. I use the same eyeshadow, the same blush, the same lip liner because I can't find anything. So I'm excited that I can actually see the thousands of dollars I have spent, sounds like, and then I can use all my brushes. I know I love brushes. I'm kind of a brush fanatic, so I like that I have like all my foundation brushes to my right to my hands and I don't have to use stuff to my fingers. I hate to use my fingers. It breaks me out. So I'm excited. I might wear different stuff. Oh my gosh. I'd be I'll so excited. I'll send you pictures. Yay. Okay. Thanks so Thank much, you. Shannon. You're welcome. Thanks for letting us do this. And thanks for being real with the world and showing them your before. Yeah. So they can see the magic of the after. <laughs> You're fun. So that's it, you guys. Really easy, really simple, really fun. Everything has a place, and we grouped like items with like items, and then just made sure that every single thing that Shannon uses has a place to belong. So you guys, I can't wait to see what you do for your storage stuff. So I would love it if you would post a picture on Instagram on how you store your makeup, how you organize your makeup, and then tag at Trisha Lee underscore W on Instagram so I can see how you do it. You guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, that it was helpful, and go ahead and leave me a comment too uh, in the drop down if you wanna see more videos like this. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button. Have an awesome day, you guys.